Hi everyone, in this video tutorial, we will improve our previous model of tensile test using Abacus. The first, we need to improve our machine techniques used in this specimen by changing the mesh and the second, we need to improve our interaction in this model. Let's start with mesh mesh module and to upgrade this mesh and get better machine we need to partition make partition in this side. Let's have Let's delete the previous mesh manually. Go there and delete part native mesh. Click and select. Click yes. The mesh is deleted. The second, we need to create partition in this side. Create that one plan to create partition with a point. Read the plan with three points. First one, second one, and third one. This the double plan in the vertical to the specimen. Now we need to create partition of specimen. Partition cell. Use double plan. Select the cells to partition. Select all the cells in our model, click down, select the button plan, click button plan, create location. This is this is our part after community partition in this side. Now we need to create mesh the part. Yes. Now we have better mesh in this specimen. We need we can make also many techniques to improve our mesh select. Select the regions to be as in mesh control. Select click down. We can select ifs. Hexagon. Hexagon. The minute for shift connection, we use a hexagon for shift review. Smash. Smash. Click. OK. Delete. Delete. Smash. Delete. Smash. And mesh scale. The same, same shape of the mesh. Select part, click down, set it now, sweep, make an axis, click, click, okay. delete the previous mesh, mesh into again. Now we have another type of mesh, but I think the first one is better than this. Let's go back, click, click down, structure. Click on the click OK, delete previous mesh, and machine can click this. This one, I think this type of mesh and this shape of mesh is better than others. It's depending on the geometry and many parameters, and the linearity and or no linearity of our geometry. Now we get to, we, we go to Interaction modules. Now we need to create a reference point in this in this uh, in this point. Reference point one. We need to create a second point. Reference point two. And now we need to create 
coupling interaction between this point and the top two cells in there. Let's go. Create constraint, constraint one. Let's name it load number one and click coupling. We need to coupling between this point and the top cells. This two, these two top cells. Click continue. Now select the skills constraints control point. Select the first point. Click down and select the constraint region type. No region. Select the first one. Select this region of in the box. Yes, select all, click done. These options of our coupling can affect continuous distributing, structural distributing, and constraining degrees of freedom. We have all the way of freedom RB selected in this constraint. Click OK. Now, now we have constraint interaction between this point and all these nodes in this region. That means all movements of these points is dependent to this region of node. This is the control point of this region. Now the second time go to the previous the reference the second reference point and click constraint. Click name, let's name it on customer. Copying, continue, select the reference point, click done, and select the main edition. Select, click done. The same as the previous copying interaction, constraining to this or the freedom on. Degree of freedom are select. Click OK. Now we have two coupling interactions. The first one in the bottom, the bottom, and the second one in the top of our system. Now we need to change the load, the load options. Let's go delete all this. Or edit this, this interaction on custom. Let's select, let's select the another region in the point of reference. Let's select, let's select the reference point two. Click, click, down, click, OK. Now, go to, go to the top of our specimen. Edit, region, edit, select the reference point one, click, down, click, OK. Now, the final step of the loop, edit, region, edit, select this point, reference point of coupling and click down. Now, we have the simplest to show simplest interaction from this specimen. Now, in this step, we need to create a set to, create, to represent the, the reaction force, and in this set that will be created, we need to get the, the displacement, the force displacement curve. Results. Now go to tools, set, create, let's name it, it let's name it, uh, reference point, yeah, reaction force, RF, remotely continue and select the top reference point, RP1, click on it, click done. Now we have this set, okay. Now go to step 
इस वो आउटपुट बने था क्रिएट कंटिन्यू एंड लेट्स सिलेक्ट द डोमेन सेट रिफर हम स्पॉन द रिएक्शन पोस्ट सेट एंड वी नीड टू गेट द डिस्प्लेसमेंट एंड रिएक्शन पोस्ट इन दिस सेट लेट्स गो इन दिस पोस्ट डिस्प्लेसमेंट We have we need to get the the displacement in y direction, u2, and reference a uh, reaction force in y direction also. We have u2 and f2. Click OK. Now we go to the job and simulate the job again. Create another one. Parallelization means the four core of our processor. Click OK and data check. We have an error message. Enable to start analysis job. Dismiss and edit. Click parallelization. Use to OK. And data check again. Click OK. We have check completed. Let's continue our process. OK. Submitted. Running. Now we have completed submission. Now let's go to results. The formula minus stress, and now we have this. Now we need to get the curve of force displacement. Let's go and create x y data. ODB history output. This data is go from this part. ODB house history output go from this part. This history output request manager. The data created there will be appear in this part. In ODB house history output, click continue. Now we go to reaction force and we have these two value field that we created in the previous step in this part. Step this is your output to edit reaction force in y direction and displacement in y direction. And this is how this is how it out there in this part. This let's plot this data. We have force and displacement. Let's save this data. Save as as is. Click OK. This is let's let's see. Operate the XY data and get the, the force displacement curve. Operate on XY data. Click continue. Compound. Displacement. And reaction force. Displacement in Y direction. And reaction force in Y direction. In the reference point 1. Click load. Now we have force displacement curve curve up here. Now I think we need to get this uh, the stress strain curve of our specimen. It's it's a very essential data we need to get from this test. Let's go to.
ODB5 output this one we need to select the ODB5 output click continue strain and stress component in integration point we need to select the the deformation in the y direction E22 in the y direction and stress in the y direction S22 plot this data now we have in error at least one entity should be selected we need to select in which point in which integration point we need to get this data element no selection click in selection let's select one of one of no in this so click select element in the report the element will be selected and find the element internet element item in the report click plot now we have the stress and strain depth. Now we need to get the stress strain curve. Let's save this data. Save as as is. Click OK. This is and now we need to combine this data and operate in on XY data. Click operate on XY data. Continue. Combine. E. Strain in the y direction and read and go. Oh, we have error. Let's delete this. And stress in this edge has to do. Plot expression we have the stress strain curve. Strain stress curve. Now, I think we do all things we need in this transient test. I think we get the better idea in this video. Don't forget to subscribe, make likes on YouTube channel. Don't forget to make a comment if you have any problems. And see you soon.